Hello and welcome to Architezi. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how you can create a 3D exploded view in Revit. And when we create it, I'm going to show you how we can make a filters and then with this help, how we can create a different and very nice graphical presentations of your 3D exploded views with just changing a couple of things with a couple of mouse clicks. I mean, Revit 2025, I have this project and this view open here. And the first thing which I'm going to do will be to duplicate this view. And then I'm going to set up the angle. Maybe something like this is fine. Let's see. And I can just save the orientation. You don't need to, but for me, I like to save it in this case. And uh, then when you select the element, you have this uh, small icon here, which is named Displace Element. You just need to click on it and then you have a possibility to drag your element to the position you want with just uh, clicking those arrows here. And let's say that you don't like the position, you can anytime go to reset. And if you don't like the orientation of the view, you can just keep it open, for example. And then let's say select it and displace it. And in this case, I have those two curtain walls, which I'm going to displace. So you need to select both of them and then you can just go here and let's say drag it, drag it up. And here I have a lot of elements as you can see. So what I can actually do, let me just make it, let, let's see what I have done. If I just go here and isolate this, okay. It's fine. Uh, I can just go right click and select previews. So I have a possibility to displace them. And what's quite important, if I create a group, you see that there is no way to uh, displace the group. So if you have groups and you have uh, just to know that you cannot displace them. So what I need to do is to ungroup them and then I can just move them up. And now even if I had the multiple elements, if I select this, I'm selecting that as a one element because it's a one displaced element. So let's just place it here. And I can maybe now, if I want, let's say I can just maybe lock the view. And uh, when you select any of the displaced elements, you see that we have a possibility to create a path. Uh, so we're just clicking uh, or the point on those points, the Revit will gives us the option to uh, to create those lines, and those lines means that uh, actually they shows from where we moved uh, moved this actually from where we displaced our element. And uh, regarding the displacing, I mean that's the way. That's a quite simple. But what you have to do next is to create a nice presentation out of your displaced view. So here I will just uh, check that we have this as a casework family and most actually all of them are also casework and this is curtain wall and curtain panels. So what I'm going to do next, I will go to the view and I'm going to create a filter. And for this filter, I will add casework category and I can also add curtain panels and uh, okay, we have the view template. I will disable it. We'll go to none and we'll go to the visibility graphics. So I'm now going to add a filter. So it's this. I'm just going to rename it. I made 91 instead of 01. So I will just add this 01. And let's say that for the patterns here, I would like to pick for the background color this one. And I will set the solid fill. And then I can for the lines here, let's say pick maybe I can pick this very bright one. And if I go to apply, you see how it look like. Uh, what I don't like here is this cut. So let me just go to the annotation categories. Okay, everything is on. So probably someone who has been working on this project before me made it hidden. Let's see. Yes, I don't like this way. I don't like uh, to hide this, the scope boxes or so with the just right click and go to hide and I will not recommend you to do that. Instead, you need to go to the visibility graphics and control from here. That's, that's, that's the way I work and that's the way I would like to recommend you. 
So here I'm just simply going to, you see, make it like this and no worries because we have this wall visible. I will go to the visibility graphics now and I will turn off our section box. And in this case, I can just hide the wall in this view. So you see that we have this, uh, which looks nice, but there is one problem here. You see that we have those um, end lines uh, as a black one, they are not uh, they are not uh, bright one as I picked. So if you go to the graphic display option and under the silhouettes, you see that we have the line silhouette. So here you just need to pick none and you see how it's better now. So what we have to do next here is that we need to, let's say, change the, the line type and the color of the displaced lines of the path and you need to go to the visibility graphics, annotation categories, and then here for displacement path, we can just pick, let's say, this color, and then we can also pick the other line pattern. I can maybe, let me see how this one will work. Okay, look like it's the same. So anyway, this was the way how you can create it. And I would like to make, uh, new uh, graphical presentation out of this view so if you just go here just be aware of this and duplicate everything is back to its original position so i will delete this uh, view i duplicated what you have to do if you would like to keep this uh, uh, this position of displaced elements you need to go to the duplicate and duplicate with detailing and in this case we need to let's say i would like to create a different presentation and by the way, I would like to also create a different presentation of the floors and walls. So I will create one more filter. And I'm going to add floors and I'm going to add walls as a categories. So in visibility graphics, I will just add this O2. And let's say that I would like to uh, I can keep actually the patterns and I can just over override the lines here and I can override those lines here as well. So if I just click apply, the lines has been changed. And if I go here and if I change the pattern and make it, let's say maybe something like this, but not the black one. Yeah, no, sorry. It's a white one. Okay. Uh, I need to pick the color actually. Maybe if I keep the white. Okay, the walls and the floor seems fine, but what we have a problem here is that our curtain wall became white as well. So if it if it happens to you, I can just select those two curtain walls because there's the wall type. And I will here go, let's say I will create a comment 01. And let me show you something. If I go now to the filters and if I pick this O2, when I select the wall as a category, I can add here uh, comments. So I would like to make a filter by the comments and I would like that it doesn't contain. So do not contain O1. And you see that uh, our curtain wall has been excluded. And let's say that if I again go here to the filters and I would like to make the change here. So I would like to have this pattern as a clean. I don't want to have those uh, wooden wooden pattern on my uh, caseworks. And if I click like this, you see how it look like. And then I'm just uh, going to add a pet. So the pets look like this. And what I don't like regarding the pets is our color. So I'm also going to change it. And I mean, I can just keep no override. And let's say that uh, what I don't like is maybe to have this ambient shadows. I would like to have this plane. So uh, what we can also do, let's say that we would like to change the background color of our 3D view. For that, you need to go here to the graphic display options. And then for the background, you need to pick the gradient. And then you need to pick the same color for, let's say, all our three slots. And if I go apply, you see how it looks like, how it's beautiful. 
And by the way, let's say that we would like to have just the surfaces of the walls and the floors in the color as the background is. You need to go to the visibility graphics and then I am just going to add this color the same as for the background for the surfaces so you see how it looks like and uh, you get a very you got a very nice presentation with just like changing a few things in Revit like very few clicks and by the way at the end for the presentation what you can also do is just you can create a crop of your view and bearing in mind that our view is locked you are able to add the text or you can also put the, the tags so to be able to place the text and the tags you have to have the uh, 3d view locked basically that was it for this tutorial but uh, if you would like to level up your modeling skills in revit and to learn how you can create this modern kitchen in revit and then how you can create a very nice presentation using corona render just take a look at this video